CIOs need to add servers to grow their business. Well, what do they do when they're out of capacity on power, cooling, and space? Or if they've been mandated to reduce the carbon footprint of their IT? Well, of course, they call HP and get the Performance Optimized Data Center. Hi, I'm Wade Vinson, HP's power and cooling strategist and the architect for the HP Pod. I'm going to just take a few minutes and show you some of the technologies that went into developing the pod. And all it takes to hook it up is network, water, and power. Let's go out to the factory and take a look at one under test right now. A traditional data center takes 18 to 24 months at the cost of up to $20 million per megawatt to add capacity before the first IT comes online. Now to do that, you need to add network, you need to add all of the cooling capacity, and in a data center to distribute all the power, there's also medium voltage switch gear. In the HP pod, all the facility level power comes in right here. And the cooling for all that power goes in and out of the pod and the water lines right here. And then we just have these six pass-throughs for networking on both ends of the container. And it's just like your existing data center with emergency power off, fire and smoke alarm, building management system. And that's because EYP Mission Critical Facilities has been part of this design just like they probably designed your existing data center. And then we come inside and we see that anybody's front to back air-cooled equipment in a 19-inch rack, we can fit 50U tall, 22 racks for 1,100U, and we have a nice big spacious over three foot cold aisle for servicing everybody's equipment. The other benefit of the HP Pod is it's 50% better efficiency than a traditional data center on both power and cooling. On the power side, the trackway bus distributes power at half of the current, and it's a smaller distribution drop, which is why it's so efficient. On the cooling side, one of the reasons we're more efficient is instead of having the computer and air conditioners a long way away, we've actually moved the fans directly in front of the servers. That has a couple benefits. One, it allows us to use warmer air and warmer water from the facility level, but it also allows us to use lower blower power to move that air in the data center. So think of it like a raised floor data center, but it's just upside down. So we took the blowers right out of HP's modular cooling system liquid cool rack, a technology we already know about in production, and we took the heat exchangers out of that same rack. Those combined allow us to use warmer water and lower blower power. We have N plus one blowers, we have N plus one heat exchangers, we have a leak detector, drain pan, quick disconnects, everything you come to expect when you're servicing coils in a data center. So the cooling efficiency is also because we have six discrete zones spread across the 22 racks. Each of the zones have air temperature sensors, water sensors, and pressure sensors, so we always lower the fan power to the least amount. So the HP pod is filled with ProLiant DNA. So the same people who bring you the ProLiant servers have designed all the features in the racks, in the pod itself and in the cooling. That's why we can do over 160 nodes with racks that we can attach in and get shipped right that actually have airflow gasking throughout and even special vibration isolation in the ceiling. Designed to NEMA 3R for almost all outdoor environments, we have options for security card readers, cameras, or you can just put it in a warehouse or even let HP services do it all for you. All the backs of your racks are fully accessible via the hot aisle doors, and we have power distribution for over 25 kilowatts a rack. 22 50U racks that fit anybody's equipment that's front to back cool that goes in a standard 19 inch rack. Access to all the servers through a traditional hot aisle and cold aisle, coupled with unique power distribution and existing cooling technologies or would give the HP Pod 50% better energy efficiency than the data center today. Oh look, I see one leaving for you right now.